Thank you very much for joining me from the audience. And your name is? Hamid. Hamid. Well, uh, what I'm going to do today is to do an experiment in um, powers of the mind. So these are our ESP cards. They were developed to look at people's ability to uh, predict the future and so on. And there are a whole range of different designs, circles, squares, wavy lines. There are two of each in here. So there's uh, two crosses, two wavy lines and so on. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try and influence uh, your choices uh, through a series of what you hopefully will think of as uh, free uh, selections, but actually uh, I'm going to control that. Can you just, I've, I've shuffled the cards there, I just want to give them a cut. Um, like that. Fine, completely cut there, okay? So uh, I'll do one, two, three, four, five cards there and the others there. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to go through and we're going to eliminate cards until there are only two cards left on the table and hopefully if I've managed to influence you in your choices, those two cards that were left will actually match one another. So a square and a square, or a circle and a circle. So the first thing I need to do is just qu quickly memorize the, the order of the cards. OK. Right. So I so said we're going to eliminate them. We're going to use these, which are uh, poker chips, very often used in uh, games of luck and skill. And I'm going to give you these uh, and give you the opportunity to swap some cards around using them so that we can randomly get rid of cards in there. So um, each one of these chips uh, it represents a swap. So I'll take a card from the top of a pile and stick it to the bottom uh, on that. I was able to kind of shuffle through them. So what I'm going to suggest to you, and it's up to you to choose whether or not you want to, to go with it, is I would suggest that you do two swaps on that pile and two swaps on that pile. It's entirely up to you, however, uh, that is your decision. So do you want to stick with that or do you want to move the, the tokens around? Up to you. I change. You'll, you'll change. Yeah. I, I thought you might. Okay. So what that means is we've got one swap on that pile and one, two, three swaps on that pile. So we'll get rid of those. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Three left. Um, I'm going to suggest that you might want to put them all on there. Up to you. What do you think? Well, this time let's go. You're going to leave them. You don't want to change your mind. No. Sure? OK. So three. One, two, three on there. And we get rid of those cards like that. Two left. Um, my suggestion, one on each. One there, one there. OK, let's take it back. And you want to move it back. OK, right. It's your free choice. You feel you had a free choice in that, OK? So we will take two swaps on there. I'll get rid of those cards. All right. One swap left, make or break. So remember, I'm trying to influence you to leave the two cards on the table there that match one another. And I'm going to say, choose whichever pile you want to put the card, put it on. Up to you. Uh, let's leave it. You're going to leave it there. You sure? Because remember, if you put it somewhere else, a completely different card will be left on the table. OK? One swap on there. Like that. We'll get rid of those. OK. So to summarize. We shuffled the cards at the beginning, you cut the cards. We went through it. Every single point there, you felt that you had a free choice. What do you think the chances are then that these two cards actually match, that I was able to influence the choices that you made? Very low. Very low. Well, let's have a look and see. So this one is a square. What about this one? It's a square as well. So every time you thought you had a free choice, I was actually influencing the decisions you were making, because not only do those two cards match, but those two cards match. Those two cards match, those two cards match, and those two cards match. In fact, each and every single choice you thought was a free choice was actually controlled by me. So thank you very much. Thank you. A really, really strong trick, but incredibly easy to do once you know the secrets. Do I really have the power to influence people's choice at every single junction when they have to decide where to put the chips? Of course not. It's all just mathematics, and some quite interesting mathematics, something called clock arithmetic or modular mathematics. And you can find out more at the website. A really strong trick. Practice it and amaze your friends. Mathematicalmagic.com is the place to go for more resources, teaching materials, and more information. I hope you enjoy it.